Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the gas station again. Two nights in a row, can you imagine that? This is July 30th, Tuesday. How y'all are? Hope your week's still going well for you. This is uh, this video is the continuing saga of the Windows and Menards. So, I, and reading fine print. So, I'm just going to continue on. I'll catch you up, those who didn't see the video before. Now, Menards, I, you know, Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, they're all the same price, you know. At Menards, you got to pay more, but, you know, you get your 11% rebate, which is not the rebate of norm. You get a, a rebate that you can spend in Menards. That's it. You don't get cash or anything. So, and the prices they advertise that you think you're paying is what's after the rebate. The fine print is what the actual price you're going to pay at the register is or at checkout. But, I mean, that being said, I mean, it's some things you have to buy there uh, because nobody has anything in stock anymore. And I, I don't know what's going on. Nobody has any money, but everything is sold out. Maybe the store don't have the money to replace it. I don't know. But I looked on their website. You know, that's my store selected, Tridelphia, you know. And I saw the windows this was on July 12th, and they weren't in stock, but they would be delivered to the store on July 17th for me to pick up. I'm like, okay, that's Wednesday, you know, the following Wednesday. We can take them out that weekend and put the windows in. Because I have to have some windows in to run electric. So I placed the order with my Menards card and Wednesday comes along the 17th, not a word. Thursday, not a word. So Friday, I log on again and you can track that shipment where it is, right? And according to that, those windows were in some distribution center somewhere. So I'm like, well, that's really odd. They're not even at the store. So, I emailed corporate, right, because that's the website. I was like, look, I had people scheduled to be out here Saturday to install these windows, so Monday we could install electric. I bought them from you based on the fact that your website told me they would be here Wednesday, the 17th. This is the 19th. Nothing is here. They're not at the store. So I need to know what's going on because you done messed up my timeline now. So they emailed me back and said, we're sorry. You know, we're going to forward this to the general manager there at that store in Tridelphia. I'm like, okay. So, you know, half hour later, I get a message from him. We're sorry. The uh, windows are in transit. They're at the distribution center. They'll be here in a few days. And I said, well, a few days is not good enough. That You told me the 17th they would be here. So on the 19th, you're telling me in a few days they'll be here. I have to go get the windows elsewhere. So I need to cancel that order. And uh, so he emailed me back, said, fine, it's canceled. I'm like, okay, that was quick. I mean, I expected a little bit better customer, you know, like we're sorry. Uh, can we offer you a discount, you know, blah, 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 whatever. So, and they were just regular 24 by 36 windows, you know, nothing special. So, I got to look, and, and today, I still haven't got the refund back on my credit card, which a payment is coming due next week, uh, or the end of this week, maybe even. But that's the only thing on that card is that, purchase of those windows so if i make the payment and then the windows get refunded back you know my credit card you know 
So I thought, you know what? I better, it's been 11 days. I better call the place just to make sure that it's in process. So I called Menards here in Tridelphia and the lady, you know, finally get to somebody. I told her I was checking, you know, I had an order canceled on the 19th and I hadn't seen it. Well, it takes seven to 10 business days. Yes, I'm aware of this, but I want to double check and make sure that this manager who, from his email, I didn't like the tone of his voice, uh, <laughs> make sure he did everything right. So I give her the cancellation number and she said, oh yes, I see where he did cancel it, but he didn't put in for a refund. I'm like, okay, so I cancel the order, but I don't get a refund on my money. How, how, you know, am I supposed to just say, okay, I don't get any money? She said, well, I can go ahead and do the, uh, let me look at this. I said, okay, sorry about that. Had to deal with customer service, imagine that. And that's what I'm talking about, customer service. So anyway, with this lady, I had to give her the whole story of what happened. And I'm trying to find the email that I got because she wanted to know the manager's name that told me that. But, you know, look, you see it's canceled. It says right on there, canceled. You put in the refund. That's all I'm asking, you know. So she comes back. Hold on. So she comes back online. She said, well, those are special order. So there's a 25% restocking fee uh, since you canceled it. And I said, no, 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 no. I went to your website, to your store. These just say out of stock. But if you order them, they'll be here Wednesday. I'm like, so I ordered them. They are not special order. She said, well, this store doesn't stock that size. So, to this store, that's a special order. And I was like, no, I do not know where this comes from, but no, I am not paying a restocking fee on 24 by 36. I'm not gonna pay $150 because you couldn't stand by your word and get them to me Wednesday when you said I would when I ordered them. She said, well, I don't have the, the authority to waive the restocking fee. I said, well, somebody does, right? And she mentioned that they were in the warehouse, right? I said, why was I not told of this restocking fee when I ordered them? There was nothing said about this being a special order. So, well, and when you check out and Another interruption. What the hell is going on here? All right. So where was I? Special order. Yes. She said when you check out, if you, in the fine print that nobody reads, it mentions it in there. Right? I'm like, oh, okay. You mean uh, page 87, subsection C, paragraph 4. Right? I'm not, if I had read that, I would have said, oh, that pertains to special orders. This is not a special order, so I would have not thought anything of it to begin with. It's standard stock windows. Well, not at this store, sir. I, it's at Menards. I don't care. I'm not paying the money. I said, I'll tell you what, you told me they're in the warehouse there. They're, they're at the store for me to come and pick up, right? Oh, uh, yes, they're here. As I tell you what, I'll just come and pick them up. I'll go ahead and pay for them. And you will not believe the scathing review I'm going to give Menards on my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, my Instagram. Anybody I meet in my gas station, I will tell them about it. And anybody I meet on the street, I will tell them about it because this is not right, and you know it, right? Now, I was not yelling. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't curse. I didn't do anything like that. I just was explaining to her in a calm tone how 
I work. She was explaining to me in a calm tone how Menards works. So she said, well, would you like to speak to my manager? And I said, well, I will speak to somebody that does have the ability to waive the restocking fee. That's who I'll talk to. So if he or she does not have that ability to do that, then there's no point in me talking to them. So she said, well, hang on a minute. Let me go see what I can do. Then I had to forward her the messages and everything. Okay, I got, you know, 20 minutes into this already. And she gets back on the phone. She says, okay, it's being done today. It's being handled today. The refund is issued uh, back to your credit card and no restocking fee or anything. I said, well, all right then. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's all I wanted, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. You have to go through that, right? And I believe the lesson to take from this, number one, is read the fine print. <laughs> but number two, if you have to call customer service, now, she was doing nothing to help me or answer my question, but I still did not raise my voice. I didn't yell about anything. I didn't threaten anything, you know, other than the reviews. Um, but yeah, I, I let her take as much time as she needed to get all the facts together and try to figure it out. So it does, if you got to call customer service, it doesn't matter. Don't yell and scream because that lady, you know, it's not her decision, number one. So she's powerless. There's no need to yell and scream at her, right? Uh, and I thanked her and told her, you know, I'll, I'll, I, as soon as we got off that manager that had sent me that email, I forwarded an uh, uh, email to him explaining how nice this lady was and how much help she was for me and that we solved the problem. Right? I wanted, you know, the manager to know she did her job well. Uh, but yeah, read the fine print. So anyway, <laughs> of course there's always more to it. They didn't have any windows at Lowe's. Well, Home Depot, because I was mad at Menards. They're all, like I said, they're all the same price everywhere. So from Home Depot, they're supposed to be delivered today. No problem. UPS pulls up see on the camera. I go out to look. There's one window. Thing says the order's complete. I ordered three windows. There's one. Alright. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Did he leave him on his truck? You know what? What the hell? So UPS is on my way to work. So I went by UPS and went upstairs to their offices. You know, the whole place is wide open. You know. Uh... And this lady, I explained to her what happened. I said, if he still got it on his truck, I mean, maybe, maybe you can give him a heads up to swing back by and drop him off. So she took down, you know, my address and she came back with this form. Well, the one shows delivered, the tracking numbers and everything. The other two tracking numbers, UPS doesn't even have those yet. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can I please do? Now I got the 20 here too, but 13 on 5. 13 on 5? We yep. can do that. Do I keep the 10? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 5. Prepay. 13. All right. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Doing? Yep. So, what she showed me was the other two windows hadn't even been picked up yet by UPS. They just had the shipping information and the tracking numbers. So who knows what's, I tell you, man, you just cannot, you can't get good customer service anymore. Oh, I mean, you know, it's not customer service, it's not even that. It's just companies that do what they tell you they'll do. That's the problem. You know, so now tomorrow I'm going to have to call Home Depot and say, okay, where are the other two that haven't even been picked up by UPS yet? When do you plan on putting those out? 
you know, Lowe's has none. It, it's like there's nothing in the stores anymore. So we just played the waiting game, you know. But anyway, read the fine print. If you have to call customer service, right, don't do it when you're mad, right? Don't call them and have an attitude because I guarantee you, if I'd been yelling and screaming and cussing, she'd have hung up that phone and uh, it would have made it even worse, right? And that lady did not deserve being yelled at or screamed at. So think about that when you have to call and deal with people, you know? I try to talk to everybody the, the way I want them to talk to me. So be nice. We all have to start being nice to each other. Quit hating on each other. Quit thinking the world is out to get you. The world's not out to get me. I can't find windows. <laughs> I can't get them shipped to me. It's bad enough how much they cost you know, to begin with. But now you can't even get the damn things. But yeah, that was it. That's my, my rant and my warning about companies. But that's kind of a funny story now that it's all resolved. But thank God I called because I could have been waiting two weeks and that and if I hadn't been watching, that would have never got refunded. I'd have just made payments and paid the damn thing off. Anyway, Gail brought me dinner. So I'm going to feed the furnace here and get ready to close up in here. But this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Remember to like, share, comment, uh, subscribe, uh, ding the bell, whatever you got to do. Um, yeah, that's how we got to do it. Be nice to people. Things will work out for you if you're nice. Karma's a bitch. I'm out.